just I was reading on the way up, Jamie. Um, I don't know one of the Belfast papers. This is your time to shine, or even a bit of pressure to shine. Do you feel that? I, I don't feel the pressure too much. Like I, I try and give myself a wee bit of pressure just to you know, get that the goal, a wee bit of gain. Do you agree with the sort of sentiment? That, yeah, yeah, I got a shame. I don't shame. You're, you're going slightly down the ladder, but if mm. I keep going the way I'm going and getting the crowd in and getting people talking about me and stuff like that, it's, it's what I have to do to, to push on. And sort of topping the bill helps that as well. That's all right. It's fantastic seeing your, the big billboards and stuff like that yeah. there. And, you're not just on the undercard, you're actually, the lads are working for you and stuff like that there, so it's brilliant. Though. Does that translate to your camp? Do you, is this your best camp ever on the back of... It's been great, it's been great for activity. You know, um, you're not coming in too heavy, mm. starting camp to kill yourself to lose the weight down, but I'm coming in on the weight, training hard, and, and the sparring's been great. It actually feels like we didn't really get a break, but we did get mm. a break between the fights, but we just kept going, it's been great. And what about the opponent the weekend? I haven't seen him, no. and I never really look at them anyway, so it doesn't make a difference for me. Um, I let John and my dad do it, but uh, I just try and work on myself, and that's all that's going to matter. What you're saying at the top table there, you, you know, these are the dangerous fights. Because that's what I say, that know, yeah. we're talking, me and McGee were talking, he says uh, they were always his hardest fights, the ones he, he didn't, he sort of was like told he was going to do do them over a little bit and they got there because then he underestimated them but because he's been through it he's kept on top of me not to do it so uh, they've been pushing me every day if I had a bad day in spawn or a bad round in spawn he's hit me a slap and stuff like that there he'll get a few clips so I've been good I've been kept on my toes and every day in spawn was, was like a kind of fight so it was great and me and Mark have been in great shape I have to say we both look fantastic in training so and it's a title defence but with the way the British title sort of vacated out now, win this and you're in Paul for that? Yeah, well, they're also pushing for the titles with the WBO as mm. well, because now I'm in the top ten, they want me in the top five, and they were saying if you win this, and you'll be in the top eight, so they're pushing they're pushing in the right directions, and it's good because you have someone fitting your corner like they're doing, and you're, you're, you're a bit of confidence in you, so it's, it's good to, to have different avenues now to go as well. But is the British the next step? I think uh, everyone would like it, you know, yeah. it's, it's a lovely belt and stuff like that there and it gives you good recognition, so that's, of course you want it. And there's a few fighters there that, that they couldn't fight, they can match me up with, and a few undefeated fighters, and I'd like to test myself against that, you know? Yeah, and just finally, probably this time last year, or maybe even, a, it was kind of a frustrated period, uh -huh. is, it, is it totally flipped? It's then, completely yeah. different, you know, you're, you're getting paid well, you're, you're, <laughs> you're, you're back boxing, you're doing what you're you want to get up and you, you go to work and you're just they're taking over yeah, when you're yeah. training you don't really know what's going on you know yourself like but now you're getting up it's like the day it's sunny yeah. it's brilliant <laughs> every day it's sunny even this election it feels yeah. like it's sunny so it's good and you've got a bit of purpose in your training the purpose in the in the actually doing what you're doing you're not just doing it for the crack yeah, yeah. you've got some some light at the end of the tunnel and it feels fantastic because last year was was it was dark times like, you know you're I didn't know if he wanted to do it no more, it was mm. not because of boxing itself, just because of where it was going, it wasn't going anywhere, kind of, but hopefully now i got to keep him pressing, and John's saying I'm, I'm looking fantastic in training, I feel good, I actually feel really good and feel strong, I feel like I'm getting stronger. And Are we getting a knockout? I'm getting a knockout. Yeah. I don't like saying anything, but I'll, <laughs> I, I feel like I'll, I'll get a, I, I don't want to. Don't want to wait around, like you know. Nice. And just before we let you go, just a quick word on Michael. The Commonwealth's coming up. I think it's great. He looks great. Like we're really running there tonight, and we're pushing each other. And even though he's six weeks away, he's keeping up with me when we're mm. And I'm so close. And my dad is is the coach. So lucky enough, me and Michael have moved moved there a wee bit. So we've we've got our own house. So uh, we're not living together anymore. We're living together. Me and him are oh, living together, right. but we've got our own week off at the minute. And he's not with my dad because if he was with my dad, it would be. <laughs> Torture because he's on him 24/7. He's yeah. in our house all the time to keep <laughs> make sure Michael's keeping up what he's doing. But I don't think he really needs to. He's he's, he's very professional. And is he going going for gold? Of course he's going for gold. Yeah. He believes that he, he should get gold. Mm. He's the number two boxer in the world, number one boxer ranked in the Commonwealth Games, and um, he's got to prove it now. At 56, he, he's he's bigger, he's stronger. He's not. He, everyone didn't see the best of him at, at, at flyweight because. Uh, he took that wee bit extra out of him to, mm. to get down the way. I've never seen anyone do it like him. But uh, it's 56 kilo of band weight. He's a different man. He, he's a different beast, to be honest. He's, he's so strong. Even in Sparner, he, he's so strong. He's fit. He throws punches from all angles. And just if you if he makes you miss, he's going to make you pay. And I'm just hoping that he just 
leaves no stone unturned for the Commonwealth and, and goes to get a goal because uh, four years ago it was it was the, the catalyst but for the Olympics yeah. and stuff because I remember him telling me as soon as he got off off the plane and the lads Paddy Gall, Paddy Barnes and all were getting off the front of the plane and he got off the back of the plane and I was pushed to the side and stuff and before they had so much high hopes he says he get off and he had tears in his eyes and, and he said to me my dad I never want to get off the back of the plane again and it, before he went to the Olympics he said I'm not getting off the back of the plane I'm getting off the front of the plane and, and since that there, that was the sort of the catalyst for everything else yeah. he needs he has redemption on his mind so lovely, lovely. yeah he's, he's good he's, he's looking forward to it he's busting to get going I appreciate you talking to us no problem John up the dubs <laughs>